Welcome back to Tara's Never Seen. Hi. Hi, friends. How's it going? Did you have a good week? EMJ has showed up on oh. the money pit. Ernie Moore Jr., I love you. I'm a ride or die. All right, boo. What are we doing? Welcome back to Tara's Never Seen. We are about to watch Constantine. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since Keanu has graced our channel with his presence. And that's probably for good reason. I mean, after that belt whip action in John Wick, I needed to cool down a little bit. The way he snatched that belt right off. I tell you, gave me the sweats. I, I was had, had to catch my breath a bit. But I love Keanu Reeves. I, I This is one I have wanted. This one, and I've not seen Devil's Advocate either. And that's, that's one, it's also on our list. So I, it was a choice between the two today. We're going to go with Constantine. So Constantine, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just know Keanu's in it. They and also had a TV series of this show. There was a TV series? Like character, yeah. How long ago was that? 2014 for one season. Really? Sounds like something that would be on the WB. USA. Oh, Okay. My bad. Well, hmm. Let's see. Let's 2025 see. 2025 or 2026 for Constantine 2. Okay. So not that much longer. All right. And John Wick 5 is when? Next year, I think. Possibly. I think that's what I read. Bring it. I love him. I love Keanu. So he's he's been in movies like, like I've seen a lot of his, I guess you could call them mainstream movies like... Okay, we were having this discussion a little bit ago, too. If there's an actor like Jim Carrey or Keanu Reeves or who Will Ferrell, things like that, I've pretty much seen a majority, a good majority of those movies. But I'm finding out that there's just some movies that either I haven't heard of or I've heard of them and just never got around to watching. And Constantine is one that I've heard of a long time ago and kept always saying... I, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see that. And I, I just never did. It just lets ear hole muffs go in the ear holes. Click smash all the things. The like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Let's do the damn thing. Three, two, one, play. Bust my eardrum. Sorry. And my pancreas. I had no idea that was about to go down. He who possesses the spear of destiny holds the fate of the world in his hands. The spear of destiny has been missing since the end of World War II. Oh, I want to pet that dog. Can I pet that dog? Dog's not going to die, is it? El Camino. Good eye. Did you just open a portal to hell? I wouldn't stick my hand down there. Is that a Nazi flag? And a stabby stab. Nice. It's not scary. A better version of Ghost Adventures. <laughs> Holy shit. How did that guy split that car in half? That way. What is going on? Did that knife do that? There ain't no way. No way. That knife. That knife did it. That knife did it. It did it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm not watching some bullshit like this. Nuh-uh. Oh, hell no. Now, now I might know why I haven't seen it. <laughs> is he going to be, is is he the, the exorcist? As soon as I couldn't pull it out myself, <clears throat> I called you, John. Oh, he is like the exorcist of all exorcists. Because that priest said he couldn't pull it out. I mean, that's unfortunate for him. Well, the whole building is there watching. What the hell? This thing is... It, I mean, this girl finna be like Linda Blair? Oh, no. -uh. Not today, Satan. This is Constantine. John Constantine. Oh. Asshole. Yeah, asshole. Oh. Did that demon just say your mom? She gonna bite you? Oh hell no! Oh, cut her head off! 
punch yeah. her right in the face. Move! Oh, yeah. Chaz Kramer, asshole. Is that Shia LaBeouf? Yep. What? Oh, this is Kramer. Chaz Kramer. Hours. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You just answered the phone from a demon phone call. Hello? Mm -mm. No, no. No. Them demons is calling you. Mm -mm. No, don't answer. Nope. Unplug every damn one of them. Nope. That was a very large bat. <laughs> the hell is that? Hey. What's cra- hey, uh, Okay, I thought something was crawling on his head for a second. Why do people not- People on the street not see what's going on? People in their car, why does nobody else see? He's just got like all these little- You should have minded your own business exorcist. I, I So people just think they see some random guy just acting a fool. Are you telling me I hope to God that car saw all those bugs splatter on its That was gross. I know where you're going. You're going to midnight. It's a bar. It's a bar. Papa Midnight is a crusader for good. He swore the oath of neutrality. John, the man's a legend. Yeah. Can you please get me into this bar, John? Please? Sure, you can get in. Can I, tell you're 21? I can get in? If you can get in. It's a bear though, right? Two ducks in a two ducks in a cloud? Two frogs on a bench. Two frogs on a bench. No no no. I'm with I'm I'm with the guy you just John! John! It's red in dress. I'm just I'm just testing him. I'm just testing him. Is it a vampire bar? Are they all demons? I don't I don't even there's so much going on in this movie. Already. And he have you deported back to hell. Not some angry half-breed midnight, a full-fledged demon here on our plane. Clearly, I do not have to remind you that is impossible. Because that little boy up in the beginning, he opened the portal to hell. Like I said. Demons stay in hell. Angels in heaven. Thanks for the history lesson, Midnight. You've been a tremendous help. I need to use the chair. John, forgetting the fact that it would almost certainly kill you. You know I am neutral. Something's coming. That's what she said. Oh my god, what did I say? That expression alone has... Gavin Rossdale! Oh my god! I'll deport you, sorry ass right where you stand. You will abide by them. Word is, you're on your way down. How did I not ever know he was in this? <laughs> Finger looking good. I mean... Two of my 15-year-old heartthrobs right here on one screen. My 15-year-old heart just got real happy. I mean, I knew Gavin Rostell was on an episode of CSI Miami, but... Well, look at there. Surprises. Well, would you, would you look at that? Look at would you just look at it? I will just look at it. Yeah, I'd like to look at him. Yeah, <laughs> And you know what I'm going to say? Ooh, would you look at this? Oh, kill it. That's not what you do with a spider. Okay, you might do that. I saw I remember. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if that would be okay. My sister was murdered yesterday. Jumped off the roof. I thought you said she was murdered. Yeah, well... Isabel wouldn't have taken her own life. Yeah, what kind of mental patient kills herself? That's just crazy. Mr. Constantine, I think they brainwashed her into stepping off that roof. Mm -hmm. Legion or a, um, a cult. Sounds like a theory, Detective. Good luck. Point me in the right direction. Yeah, okay, sure. That way. How do I know? It wasn't a suicide. My sister was a devout Catholic. To understand what that means, that means if she'd taken her own life... Her soul would go straight to hell. God damn you. Oh, you bitch. Make the spider run away. Looks like they're coming for him. Or are they coming for her? Kind of standing bet for the souls of all mankind. 
No direct contact with humans. That would be the rule. And you think the devil is responsible? I don't believe in the devil. He should. He believes in you. Oh. Uh oh. Here they come. Uh uh. Nope. They've been following you. Oh lord. Six pound nine ounce baby Jesus. Uh uh. It's a power outage. Nope. That ain't it. No pumpkin. We should go. Yep. You better listen to him. Girl. I'm gonna need you to listen to him. Wait. The demons are finna come get you. Baby talents. You're kidding. No, he's not. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't want no part of that. Mm -mm. Uh oh. -uh. No, thank you. Told you that little boy. That little boy opened the portal. What were those things? Demons. What the hell you think they are? Stupid. I don't think they were after me. You, you're right. They was after her. I really believe she wouldn't commit suicide. Never in a million years. Let's see if she's in hell. Do we got her? How are we gonna see? Cats are good. Half in, half out anyway. What in the witchcraft is he about to do? If this is some kind of spell or something. Yeah, I'm gonna need my queen Stevie Nicks to tell me all about what kind of witchcraft this is. This is crazy. I need you to leave. I'm gonna need you to do what he says. The apartment. Okay. How about the whole floor? Be careful with that cat. Do the cat. Don't hurt the cat. Close the door. All the way. Oh man, that's like some Stranger Things stuff right there. Like when Eleven goes into the upside down. Or the dark, the black void. knows how to visit. Why would you want to know that? Oh, uh-uh. No. That looks like downtown Atlanta in rush hour traffic. I know it's not, but that's what it's like. Oh, uh-uh. Is he making the boogeyman run away from the girl so they don't get the girl? What did that do when he smashed a Christmas ornament on his chest? He's got all kinds of tricks. Yeah, holy water from the back. I can't remember those little holy water grenades. The guy it looked him. like a Christmas ornament. Yeah, a little circle of glass. <laughs> was that was the same girl playing the sister, right? Like she's playing like his twins. It looks like the same girl. I've, I've been confused about that the whole time. It's only I've only seen this like twice, I think. How is this possible? Because he went there. He took a visit. Yeah, he had her cat and he was... That's you know, how it's possible. Connected to her somehow. Did they all donate themselves to science? Don't be gross. Don't be gross. Don't, don't be a weirdo. Don't be a creep. Don't... Twin. Huh? I'm not like my sister. Makes sense. Okay. It was confusing as all hell to me. That kind of bond doesn't just disappear. There is nothing here. No! <sighs> I think you do know. You just don't. You just don't want him to know that you know. We would leave each other messages and light. He yearns to forge his own kingdom uh -oh. of fire and blood. You better be careful. It says first, Memon would have to possess a very, very powerful psychic. To cross over, Memon would need, um, divine... It says... What in the Gavin Rossdale is about to happen? Cut me right back down aside. Beam it. It's not good. Try fast. Turn your wee-woo on. You're a cop. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Amen! Nope. Uh-uh. No. He got Temple of Doomed. He got... Uh-oh. Got faith? Yeah, don't, don't roll down your window for that little boy. 
Oh, never mind. You ain't got to roll it down. That looks like where we were. I used to see things too. No shit. But I'm stronger than Isabel. Your sister you embraced know. her gift. You denied yours. Denial is a better idea. While you're still alive, stick with me. That'll change. I'd trade places with her if I could. I used to pretend that I didn't see things. Why don't, why don't you tell them, Angie, that you can see them too? But I lied. I said, I don't see anything. Until one day... You backstabbed your sister. I finally stopped seeing. She trusted you. I abandoned you. her, John. Mm-hmm. You sure I left did. her all alone. Yep. I need to see what she saw. <sighs> well... You sure? You do this, there's no turning back. She's not ready for it. You see them, they see you. Sure. You gonna put her feet in the water too? So do I have to take the rest of my clothes off or can I move them on? Touch anything! Uh-uh. I'm coming with you. You're staying in the car. Girl, I'm gonna need you to do what he says. <laughs> what? Bird on a ladder. Sorry. It totally was. Don't lie to Constantine. <laughs> Who's writing a dress now, huh, bitch? The last one little mind you have. They offer no aid to one side. What or kind of the voodoo other. is this guy gonna throw on him? The balance. Screw the balance. That kind. Yeah. Oh. I saw enough heart grabbing in Temple of Doom. You're the only one still playing by the rules. I need your help. You play a dangerous game. Forgot how big it was. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. What was that? He pulled the cancer out of his lungs so he could live. Oh, okay. Give himself another chance to go back to hell. Go oh, to hell. okay. I get it. The I get it. Devil's fucked him over, but kind of saved his life. Right. Time. Right. Okay. And I think the tar on his feet, I think old tar foot is another name for the devil. So I think that's what that was a reference to there. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what the tattoos are, but when they come together, it's like Voltron. Right. <laughs> it's like the eye on the sword of Thundercats. Yeah. Give me sight beyond sight, dog. Here's the good news. He can keep smoking. <laughs> I hope he gives it up. Me too. I hope we give it up. Do it. End of my life. I'm like, I'm going to take my gun, but... Yeah. That's fair. That's Total pain. Yeah. Get used to it. I feel like that was totally fair. That's blood. You're bleeding, huh? You chose a higher path. Sure did. Look how well you're doing. We're proud of you, sweetie. <laughs> I have something for you. Something tells me you're not a flowers kind of guy. No, he's got this big dick for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> the minute she's like... He's like, I have something for you. I'm like, it's coming. <laughs> She's gonna say something about a big dick. <laughs> Not even me. I can't You're help. My favorite reviewer. I, I can't it. help it. Your reviews. Are I mean, amazing. this is. I'd say these things even if we weren't filming. Yep. In out in public, that wouldn't matter. I say nothing that I wouldn't say to somebody's face. With this big dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. There's not like a whole romance thing going on. With yeah. Them. You know what Thank I mean? God. They just went through a thing together. And they're, I mean, the they're sexual really tension is definitely there. Yeah. And but he's like, like, I got to do right by God now. But it wasn't like, you know, let's force them to get together. Right. He don't need a girl and she's not looking for a man. They just shared a trauma together. Yeah. He works his work in mysterious ways. Good job. Francis Lawrence. Uh, I, well done, sir. Good movie. Well done. Um, 
I don't Bravo. Know if there's an after scene. Let me see. Oh. Oh. There is. Oh, Chaz. Okay. Look, I've never seen this before because I never looked for an after. Okay. Credit. Let's find out I didn't about it. Child died either. I forgot about that. Oh. You did good, Ken. Oh, he's putting the slider up there. What? <gasps> Chaz became an he's angel. He's an angel. He's the new Gabriel. Okay, that was cool. That was pretty cool. I did never, I never saw that the first time I see. I mean, I've seen this probably now. This is probably the third time all the way through. So, wow, that was neat. It's something new for me. That was incredible. That was <sighs> full of surprises. Let's talk about Gavin Rossdale. Holy cow! I guess it is DC. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I was just going by what you told me in the beginning, talking about Marvel. But I'm it's dumb. DC. Okay. DC Comics Vertigo Comics Hellblazer. He was today years old. Hellblazer is the name of the series, and the character is John Constantine. Okay. Well. Well, I thought I knew something. It reminded me a lot of Stigmata. Mm-hmm. When you said that earlier, I was gonna say, yeah, you're you're pretty much dead on. It, it like it's it's wild in that sense, mm -hmm. like what the fuck, in that sense. Um, but I I can't say which one's better, but like when you say when you said supernatural, and then boom, I've got angels and demons and possessions and stuff going on it's just like oh fuck it, very much like stigmata ish like it reminded me of that movie like some of the things mm -hmm. the going in the bathtub the the water the all the different things and it it's just i think stigmata is a fabulous movie i think it's great um it's been it's been one of my favorites for years and this one's just as good i i like it i like this one a lot I didn't know how you were going to take it when the, the opens up on the exorcism thing and you're, you know, you're starting to, like, you don't, you're noping it away, you know, immediately. And I'm like, this is kind of a horror, you know, it's a horror action movie. Kind but of it's thing. not, it's not a horror movie. But I mean, they were doing, trying to get you with a couple jump scares and there's things like that in it that are, you know. When, when you not. tell me supernatural, my mind immediately goes to things like ghost, ghost bouncers. I have a great desire to know the unknowable, to see... The unseeable, to understand power legal activity, aka ghost. Ghost bouncing. We gotta go ghost bouncing. Well, they are so, <laughs> so they went to go bounce some ghosts. Mm -hmm. And that one girl, her skin bobble. Apparently, this woman was a girl who was also a virgin, but as well as a hooker who had died in a fire. Her skin bobble. There's a lot of bubbling skin. A lot of bubbling skin. <laughs> Especially if you go to hell. I and like how hell first became, and like, first mostly, especially on Gavin Rossdale's face. Mm -hmm. So I liked how when they were in the hell parts, it was like just like the the mirror version of the world. They you know he walked out in the streets and it was right kind of kind of like kind of like in Stranger Things, the upside yeah, down. The upside down. It's, it's like hell's right the here upside the down version of what reality is yeah so constantine has a couple like dr strange-esque type powers too like yeah and he him. he finds relics though he's yeah. he's got the help of some relics like he's the guy you call when the exorcist can't exercise the demons yeah like you call him to come in and clean up the mess because you, he, nobody else can do it holy crap that 2005 okay that movie's incredible. That's that's incredible. I, I, maybe I, I was thinking Blade. The the Blade vampire movies are definitely Marvel before Marvel. Maybe, maybe I had that in my brain. Maybe because we were talking about it. And I'm not a huge comic book nerd, but I do love all the movies, and I, you know I've seen a lot of it and done as much research as I could. But I, apparently I'm an idiot. It mm. happens. Yeah. So well, I was thinking because you know you were you said Keanu earlier, and we're like it's kind of. And then this came on, and then I was like, we got to eat. I know Point Break's on the list. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking we should back-to-back -back Point Break. I'm okay with doing back-to-back -back Keanu Reeves movies. Okay. I'm <laughs> perfectly... And you know what? It's free on YouTube right now. Fuck yeah. So, 
I'm perfectly okay with back-to-back -back Keanu Reeves movies. I will not ever say no to that. So, anyway. Well, now you're ready for Constantine 2, if it ever comes out. Hooray yeah. for another one I really thoroughly... You were into it the whole time. Enjoyed. So, y'all know, y'all know what I like. And I like what I like, and I don't what I don't. And I'm just me. And and I don't, I'm, I live in my own little world, my own little bubble. And I've been perfectly okay with it for almost 45 years. <laughs> and Kevin getting me to step outside of the box a little bit here and there and finding that, nah, on some things. But for the most part, he, he knows me very well and knows what, yeah, this, she gonna like this. You're really gonna like my break. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, click smash all the things, the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Don't forget we're on Patreon if you want to come hang out over there. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.